Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time off to watch this video. This is a general uh, work and career reading for Capricorn for the 9th to the 23rd of July 2018. Uh, I've put the decks that I'm using down in the description box so uh, please have a look at that and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if this video resonates with you. I'm going to start uh, this reading. I have shuffled this deck, this is the Angels of Abundance and I'm just going to cut these cards and draw two cards from there. So the first one is positivity, faith, and optimism. You, are, you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So be positive and optimistic. And the second card is partnership. Allow helpful and supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. Both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and once, and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So there is a partnership going on over here and you are being helped and guided by heaven, um, uh, by the divine to actually uh, go in the right direction. So uh, any partnerships that come your way is something that has, is meant to happen. So uh, I'll just put these two cards down and I'm going to use the Bright Idea deck for the general reading. I have shuffled this deck. I'll just shuffle it one more time and just cut. So the general energy of the um, The general energy of the um, um, cards, sorry, is the hangman. So uh, you need to get some perspective about what you're doing. Um, you might be looking at the situation with a bit of blinkers on and not seeing it for what it really is. You need to take off those blinkers. If you have any uh, kind of, um, you know, problems with with people, uh, with situations, you you might need to look at it from a very different angle. And once you do that, you will get the key or the solution to the problem and all your fears will go away. So whatever you're looking at, uh, you might think there's deception going around over there, things are hidden from you. Um, you will have to approach it from a completely different angle and that will be the solution to your problems. So I need to see things um, and also take the time um, to stop and look and look at all the facts very carefully. Don't rush into things. Don't be hasty about things. Um, and, um, you know, take the blindfold off, really. See things from a very, very different uh, angle. That will, you might need to ask people for advice. Uh, you know, different ideas will give you a different way of seeing things. So maybe that is the way to go to get a different perspective uh, about the situation. So the main um, situ uh, problem uh, that you're facing now is uh, that you're needing to make some sort of choice. Um, you, you have two options, both of them are something that you love doing, uh, but you're going to have to choose the one that is better. And so that's why you will have to look at things from a different point perspective um, to decide which of the choices is going to be the better one for you. And you make the decision from the heart, you look at the truth, because there's sort of truth over here, and you choose which one is going to work better, which one is going to produce the best results, and which one is going to produce the most um, effect. So a choice to be made over here and choose the one, choose it, pick it from the heart. Don't pick it based on, you know, the money of it or uh, how much of abundance or whatever it's going to bring. Look at it as a long-term thing and whether you're going to enjoy it if you carry on doing it. And it's, it's uh, something to do, uh, maybe both these options are something that you desire. This is a goal that you have been going for and you will pull all the stops out to go for this particular goal. This person is reaching up for this apple. It is something that is, looks very beautiful, looks very appealing. He's even standing on this piece of wood over here to, to get hold of that apple. So it's something that you are striving for. You're, you're willing to go to all lengths to get it. But there is a choice that is involved with this decision this desire that you want and make sure whatever you choose is something that is 
you know, you look at it, uh, what's going to happen in 10 years' time, and see if this choice, how this choice is going to change your life. So make sure that you're, you're thinking very care clearly and choosing things that will bring you a long-term happiness, not short-term, not a short-term uh, happiness. So um, in the last year or so, you've spent a lot of time cultivating your dreams, your hopes. Um, you've put a lot of energy and effort into it. Um, and, you know, you've managed, you know, you to tame the desert. So you, you've brought in something new that showed massive growth. Um, and um, with all this, um, you know, this energy in it, um, you can see that it's all blooming. It's all looking like it's, it's good. You've also managed to establish your boundaries, so people know who you are and what you are doing and exactly what you want to produce. And um, you're just waiting, uh, you're not basking in the sun, you're basking in the glory that people can see whatever you've done has got so much of growth in it. And in the last three months, you've, been, um, you've also been faced with some kind of choice. Um, this is the Ace of um, Swords. So you're being very logical about your decisions that you're making, you're you're following it one step at a time. You're thinking very logically. You're thinking about how it, um, how much of time you're putting into it, how much of effort into it. Uh, you're being very strategic about the whole thing. You know, almost like playing a chess game. So you're anticipating the moves to come and whatever people are going to be doing, and you're doing it quite well. So you're playing this particular uh, thing very, this game pretty well. Uh, a lot of insight, inspiration. Um, you're cutting through all the, the crap of things, and you're managing to balance all your options. So following things very uh, conservatively, very logically, making sure that your decisions um, are, are bringing, you know, bringing your dream closer to you one step at a time. So you keep going like that because you will be making more choices and you need that kind of thinking to carry on. So you're hoping that, you know, uh, whatever you've been working for produces uh, a lot of abundance. It causes a lot of growth. It, it, you know, it, it's like a gift. It must be something that you enjoy receiving. Um, you want to receive all this abundance. You want it to bring uh, uh, a lot of change in your life. You want it to bring a lot of abundance and, and uh, you know, like uh, these plants in the desert. And you want it to really uh, be something that moves the earth. You want big things to come off this plan that you have. You need to uh, show people who is in charge. Um, you need to take control of your emotions. You need to have uh, a way of dealing with uh, a lot of demand at this particular moment. You, you, know, you, you need to create boundaries and barriers. Make sure that they know that you're in charge and that you're not going to be uh, overrun by them. So if something is not going your way, you say no, you say stop, you say um, I am in charge and I will tell you. You need to direct the crowd of people that you're dealing with so, if, so that you're not overwhelmed by them and overwhelmed uh, by your emotions. And you need to have a good rein, tight rein of your emotions. Don't get angry and upset and emotional about things unnecessarily. And uh, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Maybe things have gotten uh, a bit away from you. Maybe that is why you need to to rein in your emotions, because in this card, um, the Ten of Cups, you know, you feel rather, uh, you know, very, very emotional and very, very overwhelmed. It's like, it's like damage control. You don't know where to start, um, you know. Uh, but don't let this feeling get away with you. So, so take a deep breath, count to ten, maybe do some meditation, some exercises to get yourself back on track and um, and deal with the situation so that you're not feeling like, um, you know, that's the time people will take advantage of you. Uh, and organization is the key to this, because if you're organized, you can deal with any kind of floodgates that open up. And if you have a plan, then you know how to deal with the situation. So start planning. Make sure that you are um, all planned out. And Capricorn is a very good sign for planning. So, um, uh, and they are good a good sign to control, you know, situations of work so that they don't get overwhelmed. So have yourself a good plan, make one up. Um, and you can do that, Capricorn, you really can. Um, 
at the moment you might be feeling like you are walking a bit of a tightrope every situation you have to feel your way through you feel like you don't have enough information and you know where other people seem to be handling it quite easily you are moving very very cautiously taking one step at a time um, and uh, you know feeling your way through things but this is fine this is the way uh, earth signs work they have to plod along very very slowly and that is the only way that you achieve things so don't try to rush it and don't try to be hasty um, that's when mistakes are made so just work very cautiously very slowly and consider all your options before doing anything so you fear that you know you will have to make some sort of sacrifice that there might be some financial loss involved in whatever decision you're making and uh, you know you're worried that you're gonna be out in the cold um, that you're gonna have to turn to somebody else for some so sort of financial assistance so that's just a fear that might not actually ever happen and um, the last three cards are the outcome cards so um, you've got the seven of swords you've got um, the knight of um, well, it's the page of uh, rods and you've got um, uh, the hermit so what you will have to do is um, you know, don't make, uh, don't come to conclusions and assumptions without considering all the options. Make sure that you've looked at every single option before you you do anything. And uh, this is something that you you know you're beginning this new project or something that is in the the initial stages. Um, so you haven't seen the you know all the information is not being revealed to you. Things are being revealed one at a time. And, uh, you know, a lot of um, research and a lot of uh, collaboration with people is slowly beginning to bring in the light. So you're starting to see what's going on slowly but surely, and it is going to take some time. Um, and don't have any um, bias about things. So approach things from a new point of view and uh, don't bring any old stale ideas into the situation. And the second one is you... Um, you know, there's some sort of assessment going on around you. People are assessing your work, but they are finding that it is good, and you um, you might be learning on the job as well and being assessed on a daily basis. Um, and so that all is a learning experience for you. So take it as for what it is as a learning experience, and don't be overwhelmed by it. Don't be um, don't think that you know everybody's out to get you kind of thing, um, because this might just be that they're assessing you and they do like what you're doing. Um, so get a grip of your emotions, control yourself and say this is just all part of the learning experience and I will overcome everything that is there. And eventually all this uh, leads to somebody who is very experienced, somebody who knows what they want and um, maybe you will be spending a lot more time uh, finding out, um, you know, maybe you need to do some further studying, um, and become uh, gain more expertise. You might need to consult somebody who is an expert uh, on the subject, um, and um, you know, do some soul searching as well. Find out what are your strengths, your weaknesses. Uh, take extra courses uh, if you need to do that. But whatever happens, you will end up um, becoming very knowledgeable about that particular subject. It might require that you do a lot of hard work and sit down. You know, taking studying, taking up a lot of your time, maybe you'll be chained to your desk for a while, but you are going to be the one that is going to be responsible, and you are going to be the one that everybody turns to for the answers. So uh, a lot of um, um, respect coming in and a lot of acknowledgement by others of your work and of your expertise, and you will have to knuckle down and do a lot of work to reach that particular point. And don't forget, you are being assessed all the time on a daily basis, and people are impressed with what they see and what you have been doing. So I'm going to draw three cards from the fairy uh, tarot, and that's just going to give us some advice. So the first card is the lovers, which is the choice card, and it says choice is made from the heart and a return to good health. So the first card that you got over here was also a choice card, uh, which is the which was also the lover's card. So there is a very big decision coming up in your life and you're gonna have to make a, a choice as to which way you want to go. And you must follow your dreams to get your goals. And the second one is the three of spring, which says plan your next steps with an eye for the long term, have patience, 
there's much more good things to come, satisfaction from a job well done. So like I said, you will need to do a lot of planning, and Capricorn is really good at planning, and uh, you make sure that you do that and have a long-term vision in mind, not short-term visions. And the last one is the Hermit card, which is sim same as this one, as the Experience card, which says that uh, you may need to find a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. So you will may need to ask somebody, a mentor, for help. Uh, maybe if you are being assessed on a daily basis, you'll need to have somebody. If you're being assessed on a daily basis, uh, or you know, you need to have somebody that you can turn to and ask for some advice, somebody who is experienced in whatever field uh, you're involved in. And... Um, you may need to spend more time and focus on this, uh, learning this particular job or learning this new uh, skill and uh, put all your effort into it uh, so that you can um, reach uh, the level of experience that you need to reach. So I hope that this reading has helped. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.